What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Thursday, a nice five game slate here tonight, but first off, some first little housekeeping here, uh, definitely go and follow me on Twitter if you aren't already, I did an update to my Dollar Tree play with uh, the news of Victor Oladipo not playing, thought it was a must to tweet out to get George Hill out for Lance Stevenson as the Dollar Tree play, obviously Stevenson had a crazy night last night, so that definitely worked out, and some of the other plays worked out, Jordan Clarkson, did his thing, even though he didn't shoot that well from the field, he still did good. DraftKings wise, Karis Levert had a career high 22 points from the field and had a great night returning a lot of value. Also, Jason Tatum turned up in the fourth quarter and had a good game. So I tweeted out this lineup, ended up scoring 299 drafting points, was very good. So definitely go and follow me at MoneyWebby to get my full lineup and everything every single night my updates on my plays and anything like late breaking news and stuff like that to let you guys know kind of relay uh, the information over a little bit quicker than I possibly can on YouTube so definitely keep it locked there and also uh, I mentioned that 3,500 subscribers I'm gonna be doing a giveaway so the details for the giveaway is that once we hit it I'm gonna be hosting a free entry NBA DraftKings tournament probably just invite everyone that like kind of gives me their drafting username invite everyone in there and then whoever wins uh, we'll get the $50, we'll battle it out to see who gets the $50, that would be fun to do, so I thought that'd be a good way to give back, so, so it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting than just like picking a random person, so that is it guys, so definitely subscribe to be a part of that giveaway, um, yeah, so that's going to be exciting, we're going to be getting to that shortly, almost uh, like 100 away from that, so that would be great to do, to give back to you guys, I appreciate all the support, so go ahead before we get going, though, go ahead and drop a like in the video if you're ready to go. If you, you ran on some of my guys yesterday, honestly, we could have had a much better night. Like Porzingis and K-Love, they shot pretty well from the field, but they weren't able to get any rebounds. Like, I think Porzingis finished with, like, four, and K-Love finished with four. Like, normally, they get many more rebounds than that, especially K-Love. So that kind of sucked. But we're going to bounce back here with everyone that's going off. I got some kind of chalky plays. I mean, this slate is pretty chalky with all the injuries and stuff like that. So if First off, though, going to go with James Harden going against the Celtics, the highest over-under of the slate. The Rockets are projected 109 points. This game should be a pretty fast-paced game. A lot of scoring, like I said, and James Harden, he just goes off without Chris Paul. Like, look at these games, 71, 73, and 68 the last three without uh, Chris Paul. The matchup isn't that great. But I think James Harden has one of the better matchups on the court. I'm not sure if they're going to try to put Marcus Smart on him, um, which will be interesting because I honestly think that is like a pretty good matchup. But I don't know if the Celtics are thinking that much into it. I think Kyrie might still be matched up with Harden in this matchup. And even if Smart is on him, Harden will still get a ton of assists, giving it to guys like Eric Gordon. So that's something to monitor. I do like Eric Gordon as well, especially if uh, Marcus Smart is going to be matched up in James Harden. Because I think Harden and Eric Gordon will both have great games. So 11400 Uh Price isn't that bad considering our Harden's upside in this game and just in general without Chris Paul. Uh, so James Harden, his shots have been crazy, like 20-plus almost every single game recently. Um, it struggled a bit against OKC, but they are very good defensively. Honestly, better than Boston, I think, with guys that got like Robertson and Paul George, especially against James Harden. So James Harden, lock him in. And then we're going to go with Jimmy Butler here, another stud here at 7700 Priced down a little bit, and he's been performing very well recently. 54 four last game against Denver that game went to overtime but he still dropped 39 drafting points in that one and also they're without Jeff Teague tonight so maybe uh Jimmy Butler will have a bit more on his plate uh this guy can kind of run the point guard as well like he can he's a capable passer so without Jeff Teague maybe some more possible assist for Jimmy Butler and just more points against Milwaukee it seemed that struggles against shooting guards for the most part so 7700 Jimmy Butler, I love him a lot. The price is way too cheap, so lock him in. Then we're going to go back to that Celtics game. Can't avoid it with all those points possible in this one. Al Horford at 71, going against Houston without their best defender, Clint Capella, and that's going to be opening things up for Al Horford down low. Some more possible rebounds, uh, just easier shots in general down there, and he can get it done from the wing as well. So Al Horford... Uh, I think he can get another double-double here again tonight. He looked very good last night, able to cash some threes. Four for six there, and then they're going back to home there to Boston, where he normally is better, shooting 58% uh, from the field at home. Crazy stuff here. So Al Horford, 7,100. Lock him in. Then we're going to go to the chalk, guys. Ish Smith, first of all. 
4,900 going against Orlando with Reggie Jackson out. Ish Smith should see around 30 minutes, hopefully, and he has the easiest matchup we could possibly ask for going against Alfred Payton. This guy does not play defense. They're 30th against point guards for a reason. So Ish Smith here, great matchup, like I'm saying. He's a capable passer, so like when this guy, he's able to return value a lot, even when he doesn't get over 20 minutes, and then now with Reggie Jackson out of the picture, great news for Ish Smith. I think he's going to have a solid game here. Get around 30 drafting points or so. And, I mean, they priced him up for a reason, 4900 But, honestly, I think that might be a little bit too cheap in this matchup against Orlando. Like I was saying, I think he can get over 10 points, maybe around 6 or 7 assists. A few rebounds, hopefully. So, Ish Smith... I love the play. I love how this guy plays. He's an underrated player. So Ish Smith, lock him in. And we're going to go back to that Celtics game yet again. Marcus Smart here at 5,100 going against Houston. Like we were saying, not sure why I just said that again. But um, with um, Jalen Brown out for this game again, Marcus Smart should be able to see over 30 minutes yet again. Uh, he's been kind of struggling recently. Only 22% last night against Charlotte. But I think he'll get a little bit more done here. That game was a little bit of a slower-based game. And normally when he gets over 30 minutes, he is able to return value. Like we saw against New York, he dropped 27. Uh, 37 minutes against Miami, he dropped 29. So normally he can get it done with over 30 minutes. So I think against Houston here, like I was saying, up-tempo game. A lot of points. Smart should be able to do enough. Maybe some more rebounds. Uh, he's very active on defense, especially against Houston, a team that likes to turn the ball over a decent amount with how kind of the, with how they kind of play. Well, you see James Harden turning the ball over over a decent amount so smart can easily get some steals and stuff like that so lock them in so that's the top five. We got James Harden, Jimmy Butler, Marcus Smart, Al Horford, and Ish Smith. Only 4,600 remaining per player with that top five. But we have a cheap Dollar Tree player of the day that everyone is probably going to be on. Tyus Jones at 3,400 going against Milwaukee. A pretty solid matchup as well going against Eric Bledsoe. And Jeff T, like I said, is out of this game. So Tyus Jones should be able to see over 20 minutes pretty damn easily. He, uh, and when he, Jeff T was out earlier this year, the man was going off. Uh, Tyus Jones, I think he dropped like 40-plus drafting points in one of those games. So a 3,400 is way too cheap. They didn't account for Jeff T being out in this game because he just uh, was out like in the fourth quarter last night, pulled out of the game. So Tyus Jones, 3,400, a solid matchup against Milwaukee. Uh... Uh, yeah, and 3400 is just way too cheap. Not much to say about this one. But uh, if you're going to get a guy that cheap starting and playing that many minutes, and he's a capable player, and Tyus Jones, you just got to lock him in. So lock him in there. So that is it, guys. 5200 remaining per player. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely go ahead and drop a like on the video if you did. Let's try to keep it going here tonight. Let's try to have another good night. I'll be tweeting out another fire lineup, hopefully, here tonight. So definitely go and follow me on Twitter, at MoneyWebby, like I was saying. And subscribe if you haven't already to be a part of that giveaway so I can give something back to you guys for all the support you have given to me. So good luck tonight, guys. I wish you guys the best of luck on this five-game slate, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.